In this video, I'm about to share with you one of the most underrated routes in Gun Bunch. Now, this is a route that will take your Gun Bunch to the next level, and it's found in the Saints playbook. If you want to get my entire Saints offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description. But the play that we're going to be taking a look at today is going to be the play White Curl out of the Saints playbook. And this play has an extreme amount of versatility, especially if you can understand why it is successful, why it is effective, how it combines well with other plays in the formation to create one of the best uh, offenses in the game. So how does this play work? Why curl? What's the purpose of it? How do we utilize it? Again, if you want to get my entire ebook on this offense, head down to the description. The link's going to be down below. But really the biggest key to why curl is this. Um, in this year's game, one of the best ways to attack man coverage is to put your solo wide receiver in the bunch, especially if he's on the left side of the screen, put him in a C route. And what you'll see with the C route is if you have like short and elite, short out elite, route tech something, he's going to light up and he's going to get separation to the sideline, right? Super effective. So how do people counter the C route if you think about it? Really the main way people are gonna to to counter your C route is they're gonna put that defender on the left side into some type of outside third. So let's say that I was running like an oldie but a goodie corner strike out a bunch. Looks something like this right here. But what you'll see is that third is going to take away your C route. As you can see, plays it really, really well. Okay. So they're able to take away the C route on the left side. And then simultaneously, they can actually create a coverage that is going to play good both on, on both sides of the field. And that's basically this coverage right here that I'm about to share with you, where they have a third, a third. They have uh, hard flats from their linebackers. And then they have essentially rolled the coverage to the bunch side and typically you're gonna have some kind of 30 yard cloud over here on the right. Now, what this defense specifically takes away, if you think about it, is it's going to take away any kind of flood to the bunch side. So any of these three receivers go on a corner route, this defense by and large is going to play it very, very well. And if you run a backside C route, or even if you run a backside in route, they're gonna be able to user that in this in this concept. Um, obviously I gotta put my zone drops on the field, but as you can see, like it's gonna it's gonna really do a good job against any kind of short side flood concepts, right? So Y curl is a really good counter uh, to this uh, because this is kind of the adjustment that people are gonna go to uh, to try to stop some of your key concepts in bunch. So this is the adjustment to the adjustment, if you will. And so what you're gonna see here is again, their users in the middle of the field, right? He's probably standing like right here to bluff pressure. So what I wanna do is I wanna look to that left side and we're gonna have a little two man game. Basically what's gonna happen is the outside third and the flat are gonna suck down and they're going to go guard the running back route. So what you'll see now is I can highball this and catch it in that soft spot in the seam area of the field. Now, the other thing that this allows us to do and really the only defense that counters this, honestly, if you think about it, is really this adjustment right here for them to scissor the left side of the screen. And a lot of times people like to do this out of pressure. So they're gonna scissor uh, the right side of the screen and then they're gonna send some pressure uh, on the, on the, on the you know, off the, off the bunch side, right? So what can we do to counter this? Well, what you'll see right here is, I can kind of try to cut it off and just ag them, right? I can certainly do that. Or I could put some man beating routes on the field uh, that are gonna help with that. So what I like to do is have some man beating concepts. So again, if they do something like that, then I know that if you think about this, typically they'll back the slot off this year, uh, which is the way people play. So my setup on the right is now going to be drag walker. Now this can be one of two or three different options, okay? It kind of depends on what you want to do. Uh, you can either streak this uh, slot receiver and attack the seam area of the field if you think it's zone. If it's man coverage, you think it's man, then what I would recommend is either put him on a crosser or put him on a slot apprentice post. And then the last adjustment is we're going to slant our backside or our outside bunch receiver, and we're gonna motion him out and snap the ball. We look left, oh, that's guarded, guess where I can check down to? I can now check down quickly uh, to my tight end who's gonna be wide open on that drag guard, especially if that tight end has short and elite. So now the user defender is going to have to basically flow to the flat over here on the left side. They're doing some crazy adjustments over here to stop this. Chances are on the right, um, again, they could be in zone. Uh, they, they certainly could be uh, in zone on the right side. I've seen that a lot lately. Uh, but let's say that they come down 
uh, to try to stop that. Then you're gonna throw this route to Watson over the middle of the field, and that's gonna be your man beater over the middle. So again, they're gonna have to work from the drag back to the middle of the field to be able to take away uh, Watson's route. And as they're doing this, right, they're gonna have to make some adjustments. So one of the adjustments that they might make would be to do some kind of coverage, like what we were just talking about, where we have, you know, maybe like a double flat, and maybe they have the slot manned up, right? Maybe they think you're blocking a running back, so they're only gonna send four, right? Some different adjustments. And the beauty of this concept is the fact that it's really hard, and you could put this tight end on an in route if you do, um, if you don't wanna put them on a drag, if you think the drag gets across too fast, you could put them on an in. Um, either one of these combos is really good, but what you'll see here on the left side is um, you'll see that that post is going to cook being coverage over the middle. And that's the real the real value of that route. Now, if you think that you are likely playing someone and they are running a little bit more zone, uh, specifically on the bunch side, what I like to recommend is go ahead and streak the slot. And the reason why is because he's gonna threaten that seam and he's gonna create a lot of space over there. So now he's gonna actually pull that middle third and give you more space to throw your backside seam. So if you think about it from a user perspective, if they, if they are in that first coverage we were identifying where they're dropping a lot of zones, they have to be worried about a backside drag or backside day. So their first move off the snap is gonna to be to get over there to the left side, maybe take away that Y curl route. Well, the beauty of this combo is now you have other routes over here on the backside of this, um, you know, that can be really, really effective like this backside slant. I don't know how I got shut it like that, but the backside slant's wide open there. So you can take your backside slant. Um, you could, you know, and again, it does depend. Typically, this is another thing real quick. This guy's going to be more outside because he's going to be probably in an outside third. So it might look something like this. And again, if they're sitting pressure with this, right, which is kind of common, um, you know, if they're sitting pressure with this and they're jumping over in this area right here, this is a pretty typical uh, ability to be able to have this seam streak wide open. So you'll see here, I'm gonna try to show you, you're gonna highball this in the seam. So you see the user go that way, you can just highball this right in the seam and it becomes a very valuable play. So this play really does a good job of attacking a lot of what they're gonna do if they're trying to counter any kind of C route on that right or on that left side of the screen. Uh, and if they're trying to counter that C route, then typically what you can do is highball that little Y curl route in that soft spot. And then last but not least, let's say they're just not playing hard flats, right? So I've seen coverages, I've seen, you know, maybe they're trying to get pressure and they are assuming that you're blocking your running back or whatever. So maybe they go with a pressure setup that looks like this. Um, and they're gonna, their plan is to bracket that that running uh, or that uh, solo side receiver. And they're gonna play man coverage on the back side of this. Your man reading routes on the backside, they will get open. They just won't get open right off the off the bat, of course. Uh, but what you do have is you look left. Oh, they're not guarding him. We'll just throw that. And that wheel route is super, super valuable as well. So this is one of my favorite plays to be able to attack soft spots in defenses that are created by really what Bunch does well. So I think Y Curl is one of the perfect counter plays to have in your arsenal. And if you want to take your Bunch to the next level, make sure to join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. I guarantee you that by becoming a member, you're going to become a better Madden player. And we literally teach you the ins and outs, not only a Bunch, but a lot of different offenses and defenses for however you want to play the game. And uh, again, it's only 10 bucks to become a member. You'll get access to all of the ebooks and all of our updates to those ebooks, as well as any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. You can sign up for becoming a Patreon member by hitting the link down in the description below. So thanks for watching, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.